Hi guys and welcome to the second episode of the Let's Talk Tennis podcast and today I'm going to be comparing Bern Atomic and Nick Kyrgios and their careers and their attitudes and their tennis performance and their future potential and what I think they'll be doing in their careers from now on. And I'll start off by saying Nick Kyrgios is a lot better than Tomic in all aspects. In terms of attitude, I'll start with there. Well, they both have been known for their bad attitude. But I think Kyrgios genuinely cares about his performance more. Tomic is sort of just cruising through, just doing what he has to do to get money. I feel like Kyrgios genuinely, genuinely wants to win and wants to succeed and he works hard for it and although he you know has a slip of the tongue every now and then I feel like what he does what he's been doing is good and he will be successful whereas Brent Atomic I feel like he just genuinely doesn't care if he wins or loses he just wants to get the money in who knows what he wants to do with it in terms of their actual tennis ability Kyrgios wins again. Tomic, he has a he has good shot, it's very crafty, but he just doesn't hit the ball hard enough, I don't think, not with any top spin either, so you can sort of just grind through him. And although he is a very good player, um, you know, he is very, very beatable. Whereas at the moment, Nick Kyrgios is among the best in the world, especially after the last couple of weeks. Last week in Miami, where he lost to Federer in three tie-break sets, and Federer hasn't lost a match all year, maybe he's lost one match all year, it's something ridiculous. He's been playing so well. And in easy wins over Zverev and Goffin and Karlovic, in, um, not easy wins, but, you know, still winning all those matches, you know, one after the other. He's very impressive in an Indian Wells. Beat Zverev and had also had some other good wins. And then third part of this is future potential. Tomic's been slipping in the rankings the last few weeks, last few months. And I think that trend will continue with his lack of effort. I haven't really heard much of him, to be honest. And he doesn't play Davis Cup either, because the Davis Cup is on this week. And he hasn't been selected, and I don't think he's going to be playing. So he doesn't care about his country, representing his country. So I think his career is bound to die. <laughs> don't mean to be a bit harsh, but he just doesn't put in enough effort, I feel like. And I just can't see him succeeding. You know, he's, how old is he now? Maybe almost 25. And, you know, you can't. You get to a point where you can no longer make up excuses for him and say, oh, he's only young, you know, he needs to grow into himself and mature. And he hasn't done that, and he's 24. So it gets to the point where you have to say, yeah, the chances of him becoming a top 10 player are slim. Whereas Nick, you can see the improvement in his attitude and in his performance. He may still crack it every once in a while, but the effort in the matches is really really good he's really intense and all the flash shots like that's just part of his game like same as Monfils you sort of can't control it he's going to do what he's going to do um yeah so it's all looking I think the future is bright for Kyrgios and he's only 21 I think which means you know still a couple of years where he can grow into himself and become more mature and you know, he's playing Davis Cup and he's a formidable force and, you know, he's not someone you want to come up against if you're any player in the world because you know he can beat you easily if he plays well. He beat Murray, Federer and Djokovic. No, sorry, not Murray. Nadal, Federer and Djokovic, all three on, their, on his first time playing them, which no one else has ever done ever in the history of tennis. <laughs> it's not it's not the thing that people do, which just shows he has the firepower. He can win matches, win big matches. And it just needs the consistency across the board, which he has been doing this year. He's been solid across all tournaments, except for the Australian summer, which is a bit of a catastrophe. But I think he'll have a successful year, and he's ranked 16, and he can be a top 10 player by the end of the year, I reckon, if he stays solid across the whole season. So yeah, 
conclusion, Kyrgios wins over Tomic in most aspects of the game. And I hope that I hope that Tomic succeeds and I hope that he proved me wrong. But the chances of him proving me wrong I think are pretty slim. So thanks for watching. If you want me to talk about something else, please leave it in the comments below or leave down your opinions about these two tennis players. And I'll see you next time.